Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China sells record 83,135 vehicles from Giga Shanghai in September, according to CPCA. Tesla will visit Naval Station Norfolk to recruit U.S. veterans. And, Tesla packs 2022.36.1 and 2022.36.2 software updates with new features. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China hit another record in September, with the company selling 83,135 wholesale units over the month. The data was released by the China Passenger Car Association CPCA. Prior to September, Tesla China's best-selling month was in June, when the electric vehicle maker posted wholesale units of 78,906 vehicles. With its 83,135 vehicles sold in September, Tesla China's wholesale figures saw an increase of 48.44% year-over-year and an 8.02% increase month-over-month. Month. For context, Tesla sold 78,906 cars from China in June. The company sold 76,965 vehicles in August 2022. Considering that Gigafactory Shanghai's production lines were upgraded in the third quarter, the remaining months of the fourth quarter would likely see Tesla China posting strong wholesale figures consistently. Previous reports have pointed to Giga Shanghai potentially producing about 266,500 cars in Q4 2022, which would be pivotal to Tesla's goal of achieving 50% sales growth this year. Gigafactory Shanghai produces only two vehicles, the Tesla Model 3 sedan and the Model Y crossover, but its offerings have become a staple of the domestic electric vehicle market in China. The Model Y, for one, has maintained its place as China's best-selling high-end SUV. Reports from China have indicated that Tesla is putting in some serious effort to push its vehicle sales this fourth quarter. On October 1, the company announced several purchase benefits on local social media platform Weibo. These incentives include insurance subsidies, a 0% down payment financing lease, and preferential loan rates. Such programs could very well make vehicles like the Model Y even more prolific in China. Moving to the next update, Tesla will visit Naval Station Norfolk to recruit U.S. veterans. Tesla is known for supporting U.S. military veterans and has said before that it prioritizes building an inclusive and supportive environment. Tesla's veterans recruiter, Dirk Vanderlaan, shared a post on LinkedIn announcing the company's plans to visit Naval Station Norfolk for the Recruit Military Career Fair that will take place on the naval base. This is big. Tesla veterans recruiting is coming to Norfolk on October 26. Hashtag veterans and families stationed at Naval Station Norfolk are invited to meet us at the Recruit Military Career Fair on base and to RSVP for our Tesla info session later that evening," wrote Vanderlaan. We are actively hiring from the Navy nuclear community, electrician mates, machinist mates, cryptologic technicians, and across the skilled trades. If you're in the Norfolk area, join us and learn how you can build your future at Tesla," he added. The career fair will take place on Wednesday, October 26, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at Vista Point Center, Building Q88, on the Naval Station Norfolk Naval Base. Base access is required. Later that evening, Tesla is having an info session at 6 p.m. in the Tesla Norfolk showroom and requests anyone attending to RSVP. According to Tesla's 2020 DEI Impact Report, veterans represent 4% of its total U.S. workforce. Tesla describes itself as a natural next step for transitioning veterans, looking to continue their passion for service in the civilian sector. In its 2021 DEI Impact Report, Tesla emphasized veterans' vital role in achieving its goals. Tesla also added that its affairs teams ensure that it connects veteran-owned businesses with opportunities with the company. Moving to the last update, Tesla packs 2022.36.1 and 2022.36.2 software updates with new features. 
Tesla has started rolling out their latest branch of software updates, versions 2022.36.1 recently, and then within a few hours, a bug fix release of 2022.36.2, both of which were spotted by third-party update tracker, Teslascope. Release notes from 2022.36 revealed some new features last month, including the updated energy app, supercharger details, car unlock notifications, and new language support. However, with the release of 2022.36.1, there are even more features to explore. The biggest feature of this update is by far a new energy graph. Tesla has made tremendous improvements around its energy predictions in the last few updates, and although they haven't changed the UI of the energy graph, it has resulted in much more accurate predictions that now take wind, humidity, the number of occupants, phone charging and more into account when predicting energy usage. The new energy graph will not only let you view the energy the vehicle is using while driving, but also the amount of energy that was used while the vehicle was parked. Whether the vehicle is driving or parked, you'll now be able to see a complete breakdown of all the different systems in the vehicle and how much energy they've used. Unfortunately, Tesla doesn't display energy used in kilowatts, but in percentage. The vehicle will also provide suggestions on how to improve efficiency. At the top of the energy graph, where you normally have consumption and trip, you'll now have a new option called Park, which displays energy used while parked. The consumption screen looks similar to the way it did before. It displays the vehicle's energy usage on a graph over a chosen distance. However, the park and trip views have been completely revamped. The next feature improvements in this update is the cabin overheat protection. Cabin overheat protection is a fantastic feature available on all Teslas. If the inside of your vehicle gets too hot, COP will automatically turn on the fans, helping to cool down the interior of the car. Alternatively, COP gives you the option to use the AC to keep down the temperature of the car even further, although this option uses more energy. Until now, the temperature at which cabin overheat protection is activated has been set at 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and there hasn't been a way to configure it. Now, with this new update, you can adjust the activation temperature from within the vehicle. You can pick from three preset temperatures, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind that selecting a lower temperature will drastically increase energy usage while the vehicle is parked. The next addition is Karayak. This feature was previously available to legacy Model S and X owners, as well as Model 3 and Y owners. However, the feature has been noticeably absent in Tesla's latest flagship models, but with the release of this new update, Karayak fans can rejoice. In addition to being able to use Karayak on the front display of the new Model S and Model X, users can also display the lyrics on the rear display, allowing rear passengers to join the fun. The next feature is the addition of dynamic brake lights. Dynamic brake lights have also been added to more countries with the release of this new update. Now, the feature is available in most of Europe, Australia, New Zealand, China, and some additional countries. It's available for the Model 3 and Model Y with this release. The next feature is autopilot disengagement at highway merges. In the European Union, some of autopilot's functionality has been reduced due to government regulations. Autopilot will now disengage on the highway if the vehicle is expected to merge onto a lane that has a painted line. The vehicle will display an alert and automatically disengage, putting the driver in control unless the turn signal is used to switch lanes. The next feature is Sentry Mode Live Camera Access. This useful feature has been expanded to additional countries including Singapore Australia and New Zealand among others with this update. The next addition is the improvements to mobile app. With update, Tesla has also made several improvements to its mobile app. With Tesla's newest update to their mobile app, owners will now be able to see a song's title, artist name, as well as the volume levels, pause or play, and forward and reverse. The song details will show up directly above the pause or play buttons that were previously displayed. Additionally, if the driver is using GPS to navigate to a specific location, the mobile app will display details about their destination. 
In addition to displaying the vehicle's set destination and data, the app will also display what the car's expected state of charge will be upon arrival. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.